Hello everybody and welcome to the official DeLorean training video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the DeLorean, exactly how to maximize profit, and when and where to enter in the market. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me. And again, welcome to today's video. Again, everybody, very excited to have you with me for the official DeLorean training guide. If you're new around here, the DeLorean was designed for me by me originally three years ago to give me my time back. And I'm very excited that you guys can have access to it to know exactly when and where to enter the market. So first things first, what I want to talk about just quickly before we get into the training is what the DeLorean is and how to use it. So first things first, the DeLorean is a multi-time frame scanner. It scans the 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour and daily time frames simultaneously ensuring you do not miss a profitable opportunity in the market while it's scanning those time frames it is also scanning 30 different currency pairs at the same time altogether 150 different custom combinations are being scanned every minute to ensure that nothing is missed in the market based off of the setups it is looking for it comes equipped with an adaptive algorithm of course this algorithm has been around for a little over three years and what this means is that is it's helping us avoid dead markets, meaning consolidation, and it's helping us avoid uh, different volume spikes and different high impact situations that can be dangerous to traders. Finally, it comes with an easy visualization that is easy to understand, easy to follow, and of course, ultimately helps us with our execution. So this is what it looks like. On the left side there, you're gonna see that's the DeLorean itself. That's what the interface looks like when you first log in. I want to break it all down to you. Obviously, you can see that it, first of all, comes with a custom chart. This chart comes preset. You do not have to put in any of those lines. None of the indicators have to be loaded. It is all preset for you. It's a very simple interface. On the right side, you're going to see the alert panel. And under that alert panel are different currency pairs that this software is specifically saying you should be looking at. All of those alert panel pairs that you see down there are clickable, meaning the moment that you click it, that will populate on the chart to the left. So right now on this chart that you see on screen, this is New Zealand Yen. And on the right side of the screen, that's when we clicked New Zealand Yen. If we had gone to the top where it says New Zealand Swiss and clicked it, then New Zealand Swiss would have populated, so on and so forth. Finally, you'll notice on uh, the bottom right portion of that chart where the price currently is, you're going to see that little tiny blue arrow. And of course, we'll get into that a little bit later, but it's actually showing you exactly where the signal was called so you know if you're late or if you're just right on time with the signal. Last but not least, this is a complete web-based software. So there's nothing that you guys need to download in order to get access. Again, this is just directly on the web. So this can be uh, accessed from your computer, can be accessed from a tablet, can be accessed from a cell phone, so on and so forth. So you might be asking yourself, how do I use it? Again, the first thing I want you to remember is that I built this for myself. So this is a, a brand new interface that is built to be easier for you. So I built this thing with one piece in my mind. I want you to take a minute to try to guess what that is. That one piece is simple. I want this to be simple. So now that you guys know about the back end of what DeLorean is, what it can do, what it cannot do, I now want to make a little bit of a leap ahead and teach you exactly how to use it. So the first thing you have to learn is that there's going to be a discrepancy. You're going to see arrows on your chart. It's either going to be a blue arrow or a red arrow. Blue arrow means you're looking to buy. A red arrow means you're looking to sell. Simple as this, looking to buy, looking to sell. So when you see these color arrows populate on your chart, you should know that at that point in time, you are looking to do what, of course, whatever the color code is. So once you get those arrows, how do we use it? Well, we follow a simple four-step process. And this is the first piece that I want you guys to focus on. B, C, L, S. That stands for bigger, cut, location, space, and then boom, take a trade. Now, obviously, you have no previous context of what this means, and that's what we're going to spend today talking about. But BCLS should be something that you write down on your notepad right now in this training. BCLS. BCLS. 
And you have to continue to remember this because this is literally all you need in order to profit with the DeLorean software. So first and foremost, as a quick note, before we begin, we're going to focus on the two candles to the left of each arrow. Okay. And before we do that, I'm going to give you guys some chart sheets that you need to take a picture of in order to fully execute these positions. So there's going to be four of them. So what I want you to do is take just a quick moment and take a picture of this slide. This is your sell signal for your lower time frame. Notice in the top left corner, it'll say sell signal called for 15 minute, 30 minute, and one hour. These are your lower time frame. Also notice in the top left corner, it says, is it between 2 and 10 a.m. Eastern? For lower time frame signals, we only try to trade between 2 and 10 a.m. Eastern. That is because the liquidity is higher, the markets are moving faster, and ultimately, it is slightly easier to profit with the DeLorean on short-term time frame trades in that time window. Okay, This is for buy signals called in those lower time frames. Again, the same window goes as follows, 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern, four steps, Ultimately, everything has changed in these four steps because now this is a buy signal, but you still need to take a quick picture of it and or write it down. Now, this is your higher time frame. Notice now, top left corner, it says signal called for four hour and daily. Okay. Also notice that the time that you need to trade, that 2 to 10 a.m. window, is no longer there. So that means that four hour and daily signals called on the DeLorean software can be taken at any point in time during the day. In fact, a lot of users love trading these long-term setups because they find them to be much clearer. And that's of course preference. I can't say that that's a guarantee for you, but you're gonna be able to figure out what's best for you. Do you trade short-term or do you trade long-term? Finally, this is for sell signals, the four hour and the daily which again, we are not trading in that 2 to 10 a.m. window. Okay, so now that everything is out of the way, that's the information portion. Now, information and education is useless without learning implementation. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to implement this specific information into actually trading on the charts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up an example right now. And obviously, this is a training video, so I'm not able to see what you're saying. You're not able to comment it to me. But what I want you to do is take a good look at this chart. Is this a buy or a sell signal? That's the first question that you have to know in order to succeed. So you'd look at the chart, and the first thing you would notice is that we have a red arrow. Remembering back a few minutes ago in the training, if we see a red arrow on our chart, that means we are looking to sell. Now, this specific example, and frankly, all the examples I'm going to show you today are on short-term time frames. But keep in mind that your four-step process and the way that you execute is identical whether you're on 15-minute, all the way up to daily, and all the way in between. It is the same across the board. So the moment we know that we have a sell signal, we will go and we will find our sell signal cheat sheet. This is for the lower time frame, and the first thing we'll do is we will just read step one. Look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the red candle bigger than the blue? We go back to our chart, and the first thing we have to do is identify those two candles to the left of the arrow. So the first thing I want you to identify is these two candles, this big blue one and this big red one to the left of the arrow. First things first. Is the red bigger than the blue? Well, you'll notice at the bottom that the red is dropping lower than the blue one, and they're identical at the top. So yes, red is bigger than the blue. Your goal with this strategy is to get yeses. The moment you get a no, you move on to the next trade. So question number one, is red bigger than the blue? The answer is yes, which means we move on to step two. So all we're going to do is read step two. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? Now keep in mind, from step one, looking at the two candles to the left of the arrow, we now have to pay attention to the two candles to the left of the arrow for all four steps. So on step two now, is the red line cutting through both candle bodies? Is the red line cutting through both candle bodies? Sure is. So now we have a check on step two. Again, a check 
On step two, we get a yes, which that leads us now to step three. Is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely above the two candles? Now, as a caveat here on step three, I do have a little point that I want to tweak to make sure you understand that enables you to trade a little bit more. And that is the gray, aqua, or blue line can also cut through the two candle bodies for step three only. The gray, aqua, or blue line can also cut through both candle bodies. It does not have to only be above in this case. So is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely above the two candle bodies or cutting through it? So we go back and we take a look. We notice at the bottom we have a gray. We notice right here we have a blue. We notice up here we have an aqua. What do we notice? Aqua is obviously cutting through both candle bodies. So in this case, we get a yes for step three, and that enables us to move to step four. And step four is just a, a reassurance point. Did you make sure the gray, aqua, or blue lines are not closely below? Now what that means is we're making sure we are not very close below this arrow. On a short-term trade, 15 minute, 30 minute, and one hour, closely below means 10 pips. You want to make sure you have at least 10 pips room from the arrow to one of those lines. Okay. Again, you want to make sure that you have 10 pips room from this arrow all the way down to these lines. If you don't have that room, you don't take the trade. In this case, we have that room. That room means profit because what we are doing is we're looking at taking profit at those lines. So in this case, going back, go to step one. Yes, red is bigger than blue. Step two, yes, red cuts through both candle bodies. Step three, yes, the aqua cuts through both. And step four, there is room. Go up to the fifth box there, boom, take the trade. So this is an example right here of a trade that you would take. So now I want to flip gears and go to the opposite side. We now have a buy signal. Now that we have a buy signal, what we want to do is we want to go find our short term. This is all short term trades I'm showing you for this example. We now want to go to our buy signal and we want to take a look at our cheat sheet. Now we're going to simply read step one again. Look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red. So we go back to the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Yes, it is. Again, we are only paying attention to these two candles right here. These two candles right here. The blue candle is obviously much bigger than the red, which that would mean we get a yes. So we move on now and we read step two. Step two states, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? So now we would go back. We're paying attention now to these two. Okay, we're paying attention to these two, this one here and this one here. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? That is your question. What I notice is the red line cuts through the blue candle, but it only cuts through the wick of the red candle. This is our first no that we get. The answer here is no. Again, the answer here is no. The red line does not cut through what I like to call this chunky, colorful thing. It needs to cut through both sides, not the corner. It needs to come in and come out. Come in a side, come out. It doesn't cut through both, so the answer is no. So if we get an answer no, what happens? We don't take the trade. We move on to the next signal that is called with the DeLorean. Now, for the sake of today's training video, what I want to do is go through all four steps to make sure and ensure that you see this clearly. So let's go now to step three. We already know that we wouldn't take this trade, but presumably say somebody missed that one. Let's go to step three and take a look. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely below the two candles? Again, or it could be cutting through them as I talked about in the last example, or they could be cutting through them. Does the gray aqua or blue line cut through both candle bodies or are they below both candle bodies? Well, the blue line's not even in the picture, so that one's out. The aqua line's above the candle bodies, and the gray line's above the candle bodies. Going back here, 
It says below because we're buying. So the answer is no. So now not only does step two get a no, but step three gets a no. There's two reasons to not enter the trade. So let's go back again now to step four. Did you make sure the gray aqua or blue line are not closely above? We go back to the signal. Did I make sure the gray aqua or blue line are not closely above? Well, notice here. The blue candle is actually hitting the aqua already. It has already touched what we would be potentially targeting. So again, there's three reasons to not enter the trade. The red does not cut through. Step three, the aqua, the blue, or the gray are not below or cutting through. And step four, we don't have any space up top. Three reasons to not enter this trade. This is an example of a signal that we would not want you to take. And of course, you can take anything you want, but these are the ideal scenarios in the market that you should wait for in order to amplify your profits using the DeLorean. Let's go to another example. Buy or sell. That's the first question you want to ask yourself. The first thing you should see is that you see a blue arrow. If you see a blue arrow, that of course means we are looking to buy. Since we are looking to buy, what we will now do is we will take a good look at these two candles and we'll go over to step one. Step one says, look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? So we'll go back here. Is the blue candle bigger than the red? Well, it's very obvious. The answer is yes. The blue candle is bigger than the red, so we move on to step two. Does the red line cut through both candle bodies in step two? Does the red line cut through both candle bodies? Well, you can see the red line comes up, cuts through here, cuts out there, cuts through both, so we get an answer yes. We go to step three. Is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely below the two candles? Again, is the gray, aqua, or blue line closely below the two candles or cutting through them? Well, I see the blue line way up top. See the gray line smack dab in the middle, but I notice that aqua line cutting through those two candle bodies. That signifies a third yes. So we have step one yes, step two yes, step three yes. That goes to step four. Did I make sure the gray aqua or blue lines are not closely above? Well, I'm about to. Okay, again, you want to make sure that you have at least a 10 pip gap from this arrow. In this case, looking at the price point, we are at approximately 67.34 or so. And this line is at approximately 67.47, which means we got 13, 14 pips above. Means there's enough space. Yes, we are okay. There is enough space. Meaning now we have followed this four step check. Boom, take the trade. So again, it passes all on this scenario. Okay, that leads us again to the opposite direction. Now we'll take a look. This is a sell signal. So we need to flip gears. Now we are looking at the sell cheat sheet. Step one, look at the two candles to the left of the arrow. Is the red candle bigger than the blue? So we go back. We're looking again at these two candles to the left of this arrow. Is the red bigger than the blue? Well, clearly we can see that it is bigger than the blue. So that would mean yes. So we can go to step two. Step two says, does the red line cut through both candle bodies? So we go, we look at those two candles and what would you notice? The red line doesn't even touch the blue one and it only cuts through the wick of the red one. Does it cut through both candle bodies? The answer is no. So in this case scenario, we get to know what happens. We don't enter the trade. Okay, again, if you get one no, or even for those of you guys that are trying to learn this, if you get anything that's a remotely no, and you think, well, I don't think this is going to work, just don't take the trade. There are so many opportunities that the DeLorean is going to throw your way. Okay, but for the sake of the training, again, I'm going to go through all four steps. So let's go to step three. Is the gray aqua or blue line closely above the two candles? Again, we can add a caveat there, or it can be cutting through if you so choose. Well, I noticed the blue lines below... I notice the gray here and the aqua here are above. Tons of space though. The same step three to step four. The closer in step three, it's gotta be at least 10 pips. In this case, it's not. 
It needs to be close. Okay. Step three, we're looking for confluence. Step four, we're looking for targeting. The closer, the better on step three. In this case, we have a lot of separation. So there's another no. And that leads us to step four. Did you make sure the gray, aqua, or blue line are not closely below? Take a look at that blue on the very bottom of your chart. Right there, you see this is at 107.65. The blue is sitting at 107.60. That's a five pip gap. That is too close. That is too close. Okay. So what I want you to understand is within minutes, you are already identifying profitable setups. Now, you might have to watch this training a couple times. That's absolutely okay. But within minutes, you are already identifying profitable setups. So I want you to take a moment and imagine practicing for even one month. How would that impact your trading? What would that do for your trading? I want you to send that in the comment section below what this is going to do for your trading. Okay. Understand first and foremost, this formula changed the way I trade. And I'm extremely excited for you guys to enjoy the same benefits as I have enjoyed with this software. With this said, this has been an official DeLorean training video. I appreciate your time and I will see you on the next training. Again, guys, if you have any questions about anything I talked about in today's video, please feel free to reach out to me. In order to get the DeLorean, you're going to have to be a member of I Am Mastery Academy, so be sure to do that. And also in your back office, be sure to add on the DeLorean in order to get access to the software. With that said, I can't wait to meet you on my live rooms, and I'll see you on the inside.